This is unreal. What is going on? Oh my god. I want to hear it. You guys canceled. She's my co-worker. I knew you'd be pissed so I didn't tell you. You knew I'd be mad so you didn't tell me. Are you serious right now? Where are the people that you said were going to be they here? They canceled on me. She texted me, told me she could come last minute. So I said, hey, that's fine. You're playing it off like it's not a problem, but you said that you knew I'd be mad. Hey, I just want to let you know that I'm not trying to cause any problems. Okay, and we're talking. So why are you coming and talking just, to me? I just wanted to let you know so that you, you don't have to feel so bad. Like nothing's going on. Okay, who are you? Uh, we work together, yeah. Okay, yeah, go home together. I'm, I'm, I'm over this. I'm so over this. This is probably a skit, but if it isn't, I mean, why are you getting so mad, woman? You know, she's in the marketing department. They were just having a business meeting. That's all that was. And you getting, you getting all frustrated and stuff. It's a business meeting in the public. You know, you getting frustrated for. I mean, y'all cool and shit, but tight shit. Tight shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get done with that. No, no, no. I mean, I know. I'm not trying to be like this. I'm, I'm, I'm on a game. What y'all want to do? Like watch? I bet. Nice to meet you, Trinity. Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't dap you up, by the way. That was a handshake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, what you want? You want a handshake? You want like a hug? Yeah, I want a hug. Your room looks like my back. Your back? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what your room looks like. Oh, shit. Blazing Bobble's doing everything in her power to make sure that she gets his money. You know, I'm pretty sure the way she looks and the way, the way she is, I'm pretty sure she got, if any any other man, she has all these standards. But for a man with money, she's just like any other bop. I hope he don't end up like how Fresh uh, ended up recently with a whole baby mother situation. You know what I mean? That's how they get all your money. You like, you like that? <laughs> I like that you're here. I like yeah, that you're here. I, I do that at my family after every game, so. Okay, it's well, let's cool. start doing it to me and we'll be able to get along just fine. So. I mean, was he was he trying to, like, flirt with her a little you bit? You want to talk about... That's literally sexual harassment. I don't give a... Nah, like, the guy, the guy just... Listen, listen, listen. The thing is, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand the situation. You got this... This is... You got this young girl, okay? She, she's, she's a mega, mega star. And, like, you're trying to get, like, flirty with her? You, you come off like a creep. Bro, if you're her age, that's a different story, maybe. If you're her age, that might be a different story. You're like an you're like an old fazul. You're an old fazul, and you and you and you you, you work for some second-rate newspaper or whoever. The, where I don't even know what where the guy worked. What's the guy? The Iowa Journal. So with that being said, don't but, you? But don't even you, the even just doing a heart is weird. Even just starting off with going like, oh hey look, Caitlin, look. What? I mean, what? just ask her. A I mean, I mean, you know, and how about this, man? I, and again, this is what I don't understand. It's 2024. I gotta be honest with you, I think she, believe it or not, I think she might be worse. Yeah, that last statement he said said it all. It's like, he did seem like he was flirting, but maybe he was only flirting because she was kind of flirting back. She talking about something, you like that? Yo, that's low key, that's high key unprofessional, bro. Like, she's a grown woman and he's a grown man. I don't, you know, I don't, that's their business. Y'all criticizing the man and stuff like that. She, 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 she came back with the same energy. It seemed like. A wild big bat has been spotted in her natural habitat. And yeah. why are you recording me right now? Why are you calling me a big bat? Did you know that big bats prefer to eat them twice their size? And it's also very common to find a big bat in the kitchen or any place that has a drive-through. Babe. You're gonna get. Wait. Wait for what? Did you know that big bags prefer to never stop eating or else they will become very aggressive? <laughs> calling somebody, I know they're joking, but calling somebody a big bag is crazy. Like, it's worse than calling somebody fat, bro. Like, you can call, like, a, say a heavy set woman is around or whatever, you call her fat, you know, she, she'll get offended. But to call somebody a big bag? Like, calling a big woman a big back is way worse than calling her a big woman. Big bone, heavy set, big back. What would you do if I had no bum? 
I don't even know if you've got one. You probably haven't, but I ain't seen you get up once in, in, in these episodes. Remember, all I've seen is clips, boy. You could have no back like a kitchen apron. I've seen bare clips, bro. You know what I mean? More clips than a game of Call of Duty, fam. And I ain't seen her back once. We want to know if Michelle's got a bum. Comment below, blood. Have you lot seen it? I want the apple bottom jeans and roots with the fur. You know them way there. That's what I want to see, fam. I want to see it go like that, blood. I don't want to see it go like that, bruv. You know what I mean? Less of that, fam. If it's flat, then it better have a button that says flat A, flat B, and flat C, blood. You know them way there, fam? He's trying to shit. Yeah, I would yeah. never be a holder. Yeah, you pro- so you wouldn't hold that Chris Wood, no? <laughs> This girl's there pretending that she's not a holder, fam. You know, them way there. Well, you'll be holding this wood. You know, like that, fam. Just no blood. Telling you. We enjoying it too. Obviously, consensual and that. I didn't like that. I really don't understand these shows where the women date these different guys. And, and you know, I know it's just for a show, but nothing ever results from it. So it's like, I can't even take it serious. Because what, what's the point of the, sh- what's the point of the show, bro? I, what are y'all doing? Are you really trying to get to know him? I know it's for a show, but it's if it if you never gonna really pursue anything after that, then it's why am I watching it? Basically, what's the point? When this man try to downplay my motherfucking master's degree, that should turn me off all the fucking way. He was talking about something, and I had said something about while I'm talking to you, why oh you? He said, oh I'm surprised you can spell. I said, well damn, don't drop dead, Fred. When you find out I can get my fucking masters. He said, oh, they must be giving it out to anybody. I said, if they give it out to anybody, then why don't you have one yet? <laughs> he said, oh, I can't afford that. I can't afford that. I'm not like you. I can't afford that. I said, well, clearly they're not giving it to any and every fucking body because it's not in everybody's tax bracket, correct? It's from what you saying. Like, I don't know about y'all, but playing with my motherfucking achievements... Making it seem like what I'm achieving is fucking easy and everybody can fucking do it. No, I do not think everybody can get their master's in fucking biology. No, I do not think a lot of people know how to name and fucking draw amino acids. So I'm sorry if that's something I'm not going to let you fucking play with me about. So the last thing I'm going to let anybody do is play me about a motherfucking degree that you bitches couldn't even possibly spell. Okay? Okay. Just saying. Kudos to you having a degree and everything, but why you... Why are you even with a man like that? Like, y'all women choose the worst men. Why are you wasting your time with somebody that can hardly read? And you complaining about the guy that you probably still with. You need to be complaining to yourself. You chose that. You got a master's degree and you still ain't <laughs> haven't made the most logical decision to pick a better man. How did that even work out? You got a master's degree which requires a lot of intelligence and you didn't even use your intelligence to pick a better man. Because a lot of you guys don't understand the simple dynamics of a man and how he thinks. Most men, if you if he knows or peeps that you're with him because he's up, he's not going to want to be with you, bro. And y'all don't understand that. I like to put it like this simply. There's a whole lot less incentive for a man to fit you into the structure of what he's built if you were not around for when he was building it or you're now around because it's already built. Ladies, I'm telling this waiting at the finish line shit, bro. That's not, bro. You're going to be by yourself. I'm telling you, you're going to be by yourself. And the only type of men that are going to be waiting for you at the finish line are going to be the ones that don't value you like that because they know, like, I, I think y'all think that we're stupid. I genuinely believe that to myself. I think there's a group of y'all that believe we are incompetent to the point where we don't know you're with us for a bag. Like, if you... Yeah, but the reason why a lot of women believe that men are stupid or dumb is because look at the results. Look at how many athletes, how many rich people have been finessed out of their money. I mean, I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. I like Boosie. Why is this nigga getting married, bro? Why does he have a fiance? He got the whole 70, 80, 100 acre estate. Why does he have a fiance? This is this is a constant reinforcement to women that men aren't that bright or men think with their heart. More than they think with their mind when it comes to love. So women are going to keep doing that. And that's why the soft guy era came about as a response, which is probably the most effective response to women being modern and being a certain way. Women don't like it. Women don't like that guys are now demanding women to earn a certain amount of money or match them in income. They don't like that. But 
What other response is there that's actually working? I just feel like if you have a man, you should not be calling around having to ask your family or your friends for some money. I just feel like what is he around for if when you're in need, he can't help you? You still got to call your mama and daddy and call and ask your friends for money. Then after, you're going to continue and lay up with a man that cannot help you in a case of an emergency? Like, I just, I literally don't get that. I just feel like if you got a man, don't call and ask me for no money. Because I don't even know why you got a bum laying beside you that you can't ask. I, I don't get that. I'm sorry. You know, the crazy thing about human nature is y'all still attracted to men. No matter what a man can provide for or not, y'all still attracted to them. Y'all still are sexually attracted to men. So what are you going to do for a man can't provide? Y'all ain't going to be single and not be having no... Y'all ain't going to be celibate. This is the most contradictory thing that women be saying sometimes that be frustrating me. If a man can't provide for y'all, y'all still going to be linking with somebody that's still not providing for y'all. Y'all still will link with a guy that's attractive. He going to do what he do with you intimately. And he's still not going to provide for you. You're going to be linked. You're going to be going to his house. So I don't want to hear no more complaining from y'all. It's just so, bro, it's, it's, it's annoying, bro. Women lie when they say that they don't like polygamy. They lie when they say, I don't like a man that cheats. I don't like this. I don't like that. Do you know who the biggest enabler of polygamy is? The biggest enabler of polygamy is woman. Spoiler alert. I am not crazy. It is true. And the women will deny it. But I will prove it to you. Women don't like men that are not attractive to other women. If they see a man that they know that other women don't like, they will not go close to him. If you want your man to be faithful to you, you want him all to yourself, why are you ignoring that mechanic man on the road that no woman is talking to? No, you don't want that one. Because no other woman wants him. But you see Whiskey. You see David Do. You see Bonner Boy. You see those men that are handsome. That you know that other women are on the queue for. Is that one that you like? Tell me now, who is the biggest enabler of polygamy? Is it not you who is chasing after the man that other women are chasing after? If you don't like polygamy, why not just settle with that bricklayer? That is just by the corner. That one that no other woman sees. And the funny, funny part of this is that. You see that brick layer that nobody sees. The moment a real woman who does not like polygamy. Picks him out and says you know what. I will, I will deal with this. I will stay with this man. The moment a woman locates that man. Other women will start hovering around him. You know why? Because women like men that other women like. I've been saying this for a very long time. If you were type of guy. That is what a woman. Say you a type of guy that just get no women, bro. Like you just not smooth, you know, and you you just got fortunate enough to get with a woman that's attractive, right? Or just with a woman just in general that's just decent looking. My advice to you, bro, is you got to try to figure out a way to convince her that other women want you. Because if you don't, she's going to start valuing you, valuing you less, treating you worse, and treating you like you need her. So if you don't figure out some way to show that other women value you in some type of way, she's going to start disrespecting you, cheating on you, not want to be with you. It really be like that, bro. And it's, it's so crazy. Everything she's saying is true.